Today I'm making an armature for a sculpture of a pencil or a crayon. An armature is the framework around which you make your sculpture. So I have paper here and I'm going to roll it into a tube just like this. Now if you roll it this way, it's going to be very short and it's going to waste some of the paper. So I need you to roll it the long way so your pencil is the longest it can be. And then we don't waste as much paper when we roll it up. Now it might help you to have your tape handy already because you're going to want to tape your tube together so it stays. And you want to make sure it's nice and round. So if it's a little bit um, pinched, it's probably not as round. So just handle it very gently so that it stays as round as it can be because this is the bottom part of our pencil. I'm taping up uh, the seam. I'm doing some vertical pieces of tape and some horizontal pieces of tape over those just to make sure it's taped down really, really well. So I've got my tube, making sure it's nice and round. I'm gonna write my name on it. It's very important. Now I have this little piece of paper that's going to become my pencil tip and I need to make it into a cone, which is a little bit hard, but I'll show you how to do it. So you're gonna start in the top corner of your paper and you're gonna roll it towards the middle like this. You can see how it's making a cone shape. And you might wanna even exercise the paper a little bit, like roll it a little bit so that it gets used to rolling into that cone shape. See, it's pointy at the top. Don't worry so much about the bottom part, it's gonna be uneven. What we want is a nice pointy top to our cone. So you're gonna roll the paper all the way. You got a nice pointy top. And yeah, an uneven bottom, that's fine. We'll trim that off later. Might help to have the tape handy so your cone doesn't unroll as you're trying to get the tape. And then tape it so it stays together. So I'm just going to, again, tape the seams. I'm gonna use vertical and horizontal tape so that it's super secure. And then I'm gonna put a little piece of tape at the tippy top too, because I don't want like any holes in my armature. So I'm just putting that piece of tape at the top as well. And then just squishing it down so it's smoothish. We don't want any huge lumps of tape, but if you got like teeny tiny little ones, that's okay. Now I want to put the tip on top of the pencil, but right now it looks weird because the cone is all uneven and it doesn't really fit very well. So I'm going to take some scissors and just trim around the bottom of the cone so that it's more even. You just get that excess paper off the bottom. Now it still fits a little weird on top of the tube. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take the scissors again and I'm gonna cut some little notches all around the cone. And this is gonna help it sit better on the tube and it's gonna make it easier when you tape it down. So it notches all around. Now it sits better on the tube. You can kind of squish it to make it uh, fit really well and make sure it's nice and straight. You don't want it to be crooked on top of the tube. So I'm grabbing my tape, putting it on to hold everything down. I have to adjust it a little bit because it is a little crooked. So you might have to do some adjusting and now I'm just going to get tape all around the tip of the pencil. And again, we don't want any big gaps or holes and we want it to be nice and secure. Now the last thing you need to tape is the bottom part of the pencil because there's a big hole there and so what I'm doing is just stretching some tape over that opening and then I'm going to do several more pieces so that there's no gaps and we want it to be nice and strong at the bottom too so really stretch it over because we don't want it collapsing into the hole
Okay, so my armature is done. It's starting to even look like a pencil. I have no gaps. I'm gonna be ready for plaster soon.